Recent phylogenetic analyses support monophyly of cnidarians, as well as the position of cnidarians as the sister group of bilaterians. Fossil cnidarians have been found in rocks formed about 580 million years ago, and other fossils show that corals may have been present shortly before 490 million years ago and diversified a few million years later. Favocytes is an extinct genus of tabulate coral characterized by polygonal closely packed coralites. The walls between coralites are pierced by pores known as mural pores which allowed transfer of nutrients between polyps. Halocytes is another tabulate coral, colonies range from less than 1 to tens of centimeters in diameter, and they fed upon plankton. Tabulate corals with massive skeletons often contain endobiotic symbionts. They are almost always colonial, forming colonies of individual hexagonal cells known as coralites defined by a skeleton of calcite. Adjacent cells are joined by small pores. Rugose corals always show tabulae, horizontal plates that divide the coralite skeleton. The coralites are usually large relative to different types of coral. The symmetry can be distinguished by the orientation of septa in a transverse section of the coral. Rugose corals always display bilateral symmetry whereas tabulate and scleractinian corals show radial symmetry. The orange sea pen feeds on plankton which it catches with the tentacles on its feathery plumes. It orients itself at right angles to the current and can relocate to a new location if it wishes. When the colony is disturbed, it can pump water out and retract into its bulbous base. At this time it emits bioluminescence, perhaps in order to startle a potential predator. Certain starfish prey on the orange sea pen. Venus flytrap sea anemone is a passive suspension feeder, and orients itself on its often slender column so that it faces the upwelling current. Its petal disc is small, and its tentacles are short compared to the large, concave oral disc, which is funnel or mushroom-shaped. It extends its tentacles in two rows, one reflexed back and one sloping forward, and collects food particles as they drift past. Anthozoans are carnivores, catching prey with their tentacles. Many species supplement their energy needs by making use of photosynthetic single-celled algae that live within their tissues. They are found in shallow waters, and many of these fringe land masses. With a three-dimensional structure, coral reefs are very productive ecosystems, they provide food for their inhabitants. Hydrozoan systematics are highly complex. Several approaches for expressing their interrelationships were proposed and heavily contested since the late 19th century, but in more recent times a consensus seems to be emerging. Pandea rubra is found in extremely deep and cold Pacific Ocean waters. It exhibits bioluminescence, light produced by a chemical reaction within a living organism. Bioluminescence is a type of luminescence, which is the term for a light-producing chemical reaction. Turritopsis nitricula is a small hydrozoan that once reaching adulthood, can transfer its cells back to childhood. This adaptive trait likely evolved in order to extend the life of the individual. The ability of transdifferentiation, a non-stem cell which can morph into a different type of cell, in these cells is pivotal for this species' changing life cycle. It is unknown whether or not stem cells play a role in this process. Due to this regular transformation it is thought to have an indefinite lifetime. Portuguese man o wore long tentacles deliver a painful sting, which is venomous and powerful enough to kill fish or, rarely, humans. Despite its appearance, it is not a true jellyfish but a siphonophore, which is not actually a single multicellular organism, but a colonial organism made up of specialized individual animals called polyps.
Aetola jellyfish is bioluminescent. When attacked, it will launch a series of flashes, whose function is to draw predators who will be more interested in the attacker than itself. This has earned the animal the nickname, Alarm Jellyfish. It have been found to prey on crustaceans and other floating nutrients, it can trap its prey through the use of its hypertrophied tentacle. Cassiopeia jellyfish usually lives upside down on the bottom, which has earned them the common name. These jellyfish partake in a symbiotic relationship with photosynthetic dinoflagellates and therefore, must lay upside down in areas with sufficient light penetration to fuel their energy source. The diameter when fully grown of the Namuras jellyfish is slightly greater than the height of an average man. This species of jellyfish feeds mostly on zooplankton in all stages of life, feeding on larger fish as they grow larger. It is edible but not considered high quality. The spotted jelly lives in trophic mutualism with a unicellular organism capable of photosynthesis, zooxanthella. This mutualism is based on a life cycle which permits an exchange of energy between the two species. They have a lifespan of approximately four months and are active primarily in mid-summer to early autumn. Like all medusozoans, it is 95% composed of water. This water similar density enables it to easily float. The compass jellyfish is a very common species of jellyfish that lives predominantly in coastal waters. Its mouth is located at the bottom center of the bell, between four oral arms. These medusae can revert back to the polyp stage and release more meduazi or continue to develop into adults. Once an adult, it cannot revert back to a polyp but does develop from male to female. With only 115 sightings in the last 110 years Stygiomedusa is a jellyfish that is rarely seen, but believed to be widespread throughout the world. It is thought to be one of the largest invertebrate predators in the deep sea ecosystem. The jellyfish has an umbrella-shaped bell that can be up to a meter wide. It also has four paddle-like arms up to 10 meters long, which, as they lack stinging tentacles, may be used instead to trap prey. Tiburonia is one of the largest sea jellies and unusual in a number of ways. It is very likely that these jellies are exhibiting deep sea gigantism and its entire body is deep red color. To date, only 23 members of the species have been found and only one has been retrieved for further study.